Hey loves, we have a new wine to try. You want to know what it is? Well, grab your wine glasses, come on and kick you with me. And let's talk all things wine. Hey loves, happy Memorial Day weekend. This is your girl Lauren, the DMV Wine Goddess from Love Story Mobile Winery. Back with a brand new video with you all today. Today we are trying an amazing new wine that I know that you all will love. It's for you red wine lovers, dry lovers to be exact. Why don't you pull up to the front of the congregation? I have something amazing to share with you all. So let's get into it because like I said, I'm super excited. All right, so the wine that we're going to be trying out today it is from my wine business, and this is Celestial Pinot Noir. This is a 2022 Pinot Noir, and this is from the Appalachian of Lodi, California. This alcohol content is 14.8. It is a beautiful beginner wine that you all are going to love. You're going to smell notes of blueberry. You also, uh, well, blueberry. You're also going to uh, get notes of raspberries. Um, with also with a little bit of cedar or a little to, uh, tobacco box into the mix. Yes, it, it's. But I promise you all, it's going to be good. It has a nice texture to it. It's nice and smoky, but flavorful, and it's just a beautiful wine. But also not too harsh, right? Um, it's a very beginner friendly of dry red wines, so you all are going to want to um, try it out. So, before I uh, will go any further, let's grab our wine glass and get to the tasting. Okay, so we're back with our glass in our hand. And as you all can see, it is a beautiful color. Now, we're going to show you all. It's like a, it has, it, it's a, to me, honestly, this is like a light red um, color. It's almost like on, it has like a little pinkish undertone to it, but it is very, very beautiful. Um, we're going to swirl this around. You all know we do our S's, right? We do our C, swirl, smell, sip and savor okay so we're going to swirl our wines so we can aerate our wines and we're also going to tilt it to the side and check for the legs now when we check for the legs we all see that this is a medium body um wine and this is a, it's going to be a really really great wine all right so we're going to swirl again and we're going to smell stick your nose deep down to the glass Okay, so first and foremost, off the hand, um, like I said, the, uh, the blueberries come through so, uh, it, it just comes through so amazing. Um, also, the black carrot comes through amazing. Um, also, with the little cherries, plum, um, uh, with dark cherries, uh, with a little bit of plum, but definitely some raspberries, with a hint of raspberries on the side. Um, also, we're going to smell it again. Okay, so you can smell the you can smell the oakiness to it, and it's also like a cedar box. Um, it's like a, a cigar box smell to it, but it's also it, like I said, it marries also well into the wine. Now we're gonna swirl our wine again and get ready for the the best part, and that is the tasting. Okay. Now, as you all know, we usually do our taste test. We I often tell people that you taste three times, right? We're going to taste one more time. Okay. And the reason why I tell people to taste three times is, of course, the first time you get the shock of the mouth, of the, you know, the, the tannins and all of the beautiness of the of the wine. Then the second time, of course, you get to explore, you coat the mouth. Um, just explore the wines. You go on a journey with it, and you get to figure out all of, uh, all of the uh, berries and goodness that you all taste. And then, of course, three times is a charm. You you sipping and you savoring. And you're just really enjoying and embracing the wine. Now, first and foremost, let me tell you straight off the bat that comes up to the wine is a little bit of hint of raspberries and also, of course, like I said, blueberries. But also with the hint, it, it has like a it, it really the, the berries and the cherries really really hits through the wine it is a medium body tannin um it's not overpowering it doesn't layer uh, you know it doesn't lay on the uh, uh, lay on your taste buds that long but it's beautiful it blossoms and it grows i will say this is a great pen and wire. you know we're getting ready to, uh, like i said our season is here and for our tastings we love us some Pinot Noir around here, and so uh, many of my customers, they love Pinot Noir as well. So this is going to be a great glass that you all are going to want to enjoy. 
sip on this all day. You all sip on this with some uh, with room temperature. And also you can uh, pair this well with great steak. You could do a Salisbury steak. You could also um, do a nice duck with it. I believe that the um, the tannins will cut the, uh, cut the, the butteriness or the fattiness of the duck. Also beautiful. You also can do lamb chops with this with some mashed potatoes and some um, asparagus on the side or some broccolini. This is a beautiful bottle, uh, bottle of wine. Nice rotisserie chicken. You can make some rotisserie chicken sandwiches or wraps. Um, with this and it would just go amazing try like I said you all will serve this room temperature I promise you all this is amazing wine that you're all gonna love we will definitely be having this here in the wine cabin for you all to try but this is to me I want to say four out of five or you know four out of five this is some fabulous wine that you all are gonna enjoy so until next time if you all have any questions about this wine you all can i'm gonna put all the links down in the bio so you all don't forget um and you all can you know stay on on on, on trend and get you some um or, or if you even want to try any other different types of wines that we all have um you all can do that as well or if you, even if you want to book a, a private tasting with me and you're in the dmv go ahead and do that uh, as well okay i'll talk to you all next time bye